Now we shall have the presentation of group number two. The group leader is Shonik Patapyal, and the group members are Shubankar Ghosh, Ayush Agarwal, Rose Indra, and Vishal Seal. Uh, Ayush, please unmute yourself. So good afternoon, everyone, and good afternoon, Professor Sain sir from Malaysia. So today we are going to represent about uh, one of the most important uh, thing in this, our daily life, which is having a cup of coffee in the early morning. And we all know that a cup of coffee can refresh our mind, not only our mind, our uh, energy, and as our health also. So today we are going to represent about Pekka coffee, something which is unique and which we can develop in the international market. Please, next slide. So this is a video uh, which we are presenting, but uh, for some technical reason, the video is not uh, loading right now. So in this video, we can see there is a normal uh, cat tray which is used as a uh, on the way fake coffee. And the on the way coffee has a unique condition which I can store the uh, coffee in a uh, normal freeze and it has a longer shelf life. So not only that, uh, if, according to the pastel analysis, if we can think about this, that it can also increase the uh, strategy beyond the countries and it can uh, include many things and it can uh, provide those uh, things in different countries without any trade, uh, strong trade relations. And according to the economical condition also, it can provide a lot of money and a lot of uh, 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 money to in this industry. Next slide, please. So in the political factors at which we are talking about trade relations. So as we know that in North America and I think many other, many other countries like in Europe, there are a lot of uh, people who are addicted to coffee. And in this coffee production, it, uh, it gains a huge amount of money for this reason. And for this, there are a lot of trade relations between uh, India and different countries. So as we are talking about Thega coffee, a Thega coffee what can do is it can import of that coffee from the country uh, from India. Like in Kerala, there are a lot of uh, region which provides coffee, uh, which uh, uh, cultivates coffee. So this coffee can be used as a, and brewed as a cold coffee, and in different flavors we can use with very uh, kind of different kind of uh, type of uh, uh, like um, any uh, favor favorable products and. Uh, flavored product and this we can provide to other countries and it will get a good tradition among these. Next. So another thing which I'm going to talk about is economical factors. So what is about economical factors? The economical factors is different because uh, these factors have a lot of income potential. As we know that the unemployment rate is growing high, but we think that this coffee industry can in really provide a good economy and a good growth opportunity and many kind of opportunity regarding like uh, in, uh, many people can do job over the uh, over the uh, uh, like in the store or in the shopping mall where we will provide the coffee and not only that many people many farmers we can include which who can cultivate those coffees from the Kerala region and we can uh, also import the help of those uh, farmers and all, all the employees, we can import and create a lot of boundaries and law. we can create a lot of good uh, trade relation also with other countries for the growth of income. And not only that, the growth of income potential has a huge uh, number of uh, uh, people who, are, who wants to work in this coffee industry. And as the coffee industry is a booming industry, and people never will get off coffee. So uh, it will be a very uh, important sector where we can uh, get a huge income for potential. Now I will hand it over to our teammate Ayush Agarwal for the upcoming slides. Thank you. Thank you, Shonik. Now I'll continue with the social factors regarding our product, Theka Coffee. For social factors are just speaks everything about health. So over here, the way people think about health has changed drastically in the 21st century. Especially after the pandemic period, people have become more health conscious. 
consumers are spending more time exercising eating better and avoiding certain habits as a result of ever increasing popularity of making healthy choices coffee does not contain a lot of caffeine but numerous studies have shown that it is not unhealthy because many consumers are opting out of caffeinated beverages in favor of better mood better sleep and other benefits as a part of the health conscious movement as a result there may be less demand for coffee and more demand for products containing caffeinated coffee thus this is the reason theka coffee is low on caffeine and low on acidity now i'll request my friend shubhankar to carry on with the rest of the sessions uh, good afternoon sir and good afternoon to all so uh, i will talk about the uh, technological factors so there are two main factors in technological and uh, technological like uh, uh, engineering uh, genetic engineering and other one is uh, uh, machine coffee machines so in uh, genetic engineering it is one of the most important uh, technological factors is that it's a trend which is across the food and uh, beverage companies so it uh, in genetic engineering it uh, helps to uh, it helps the uh, uh, it helps the uh, it helps the company to grow in larger sectors by uh, by allowing the consumer uh, producers to generate more profits and in machine learning uh, it has many uh, products like uh, coffee grinders uh, uh, drip machines uh, it, uh, it has many products uh, but it it, they, it shouldn't have a, a major effect in the industry coffee industry why because uh, uh, in coffee machines uh, uh, we can make it uh, in home also like in coffee uh, co we can make coffee in home also and so that uh, it will be easier for consumers also so i will be ending this part now i'm handing over to uh, bishal sir to continue the presentation thank you shubhankar uh, now i will be talking about the environmental factor so as we all know the current situation uh, the current farming techniques what they do is they use so much harsh products for farming that they uh, harm the soil and uh, it makes difficult for uh, if you don't let the soil heal it makes it more difficult for uh, the next uh, crop to plant and to farm so what we'll be doing is we'll be working with small holder farmers who are vulnerable to climate change and have strong expertise in how agriculture can work well with the people as well as the plant so the techniques they would be using are agroforestry integrated uh, water management increasing soil organic matter seed systems and regenerative and conservative conservative agriculture so that the soil stays well and it can be it does not is and the soil is not harmed and we can farm uh, more uh, sustainable and and we handing the next slide to rohit uh, thank you vishal thank you vishal my name is rosindra now i am going to uh, tell about the legal factors of our coffee industry so uh, we all know that coffee uh, the life uh, shelf life of coffee is too high so we don't need the fssi uh, ai uh, certificate and uh, as a product coffee designed uh, for consumption coffee falls under food and uh, food and drink regulations um, in nearly all of the world uh, this means uh, it's subject to a, a wide range of laws on uh, how it should be uh, stored um, uh, coffee contains uh, too much of caffeine uh, so uh, it's subject to caffeine standards uh, in um, some parts of the world uh, these standards are only become Uh, tighter with time uh, but uh, safe uh, coffee uh, handling is so easy uh, to get right uh, that uh, it would it shouldn't be a problem uh, for our coffee coffee industry uh, so these are our legal factors and with this slide i would like to uh, conclude uh, thank you for from group number 2